having a fantastic day. I have woke up this morning with a call sore. Brilliant. If you guys are new to our iFan, then you may not know that literally, not even joking, every single time we go on holiday, I can't get out there, I can't open that door. Every single time we go on holiday, I end up getting a cold sore and it is beyond frustrating. Literally, they're so painful. I know it's like some of you guys will say you can barely even notice it. Oh, some of you guys are probably thinking what I'm thinking and thinking it looks like another planet. But I've got one there and one there and they're so painful, right? It's not pain, it's like, well, it is kind of a pain, but it's more an irritating itch tingle. And especially where I've got them, because if they're on your lip, they're not too bad, but they're not on my lip. They're like on the skin between my lip and my nose. And I'm just absolutely devastated. I do have some acyclovar, I think they're called. I think they're called acyclovar or something like that. Tablets from the doctor, which I'm taking five times a day. So I'm hoping that they'll help. Are you okay, boo? Yeah, I need to put the bats on these earrings. Which one do you wear them today? Oh, they are so cute. Isabel actually helped Tyler get ready this morning. Well, she did her hair. Turn around. Look how cute. And she it helped me put these in. She helped you do your earrings too. Yeah. They are very cute. Right, I'm going to go and help Isla do her earrings, and I'll be back. So we're just about to set off. We're going to go out for breakfast this morning, aren't we girls? For the first time since we've been here. Yeah. And we're very excited. So I thought I'd show you guys the girls' outfits because lots of you guys keep asking where things are from. So today, Isla's wearing a very cute pink dress. And this dress is from uh, Asda. I think it was about 10 pounds. And her hair is looking very pretty this morning because Isabel did it for her. And you look super cute. And then she's got on her new Crocs that she got from the sale at the Florida Mall. You look very cute, Eileen. There's a mozzie on my leg. A mozzie. Okay, Isabel is wearing a Sorry Not Sorry t-shirt, which she got from New Look. Some shorts, lots of you guys have been asking where she got these from, she wore them the other day. They're six pound and they were from Asda. And then she's got on my Crocs because hers that she brought are actually rubbing her. So she wanted to wear mine today. <laughs> and then Esme is looking very adorable today. <laughs> she's wearing her outfit that she brought from, brought? <laughs> that she bought from Justice the other day at the Florida Mall. She's got her phone, which is actually Isabel's old phone. It's not like on a contract or anything like that. I know. She just uses it to play games. And then she's got on her shoes, which I actually got from TK Maxx before we came out here. Yeah. And her bag, which lots of people have been asking, is from Claire's Accessories. So is my phone case. And so is her phone case. And then they've all been very cute with their earrings this holiday. I started them all <laughs> Having them kind of matching. So Esme's got her purple ones. Isla's got very pretty unicorn ones. And Isabel's got her pom-poms. Okay, girls. Oh, you got your pom-pom ring on too. Yeah. Are we ready to go for some breakfast? Yeah. Go on then, jump in. So we've just made a quick stop at Walgreens because Zoe messaged and told me to get, I don't know if you can see that, some of these. They're meant to be really good for cold sores and easing the pain and things. So I'm going to go into Walgreens and see if I can actually find some so that I can enjoy breakfast. I don't have to be in pain. I just got some well funky looks <laughs> walking in here. Okay, I've been told to go to aisle 16 or 29. And she also told me that licorice lip balm keeps them away. So I'm going to try and get some of that too, if they've got any in here. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. How cute are those little lip balms? Oh, it's a shame there's not a Winnie Woo one. So I'm back in the car. Got my supplies also. The guy at the desk asked me if I wanted to do a donation to um, children in po poverty. And I said, yeah. And he gave me this red nose. <laughs> it's so cute, it's got glitter on. I don't know if it's a red, it's a red nose. Day coming up soon? I thought red nose day was in November. I'm not sure, I'll look at, I'll I'm not sure we need to look that up. But anyway, I've got a nice cute little um, oh, so cute. clown nose that if I put on, it actually hides my corsals. I want to go for it then wear it all day now. Win, win guys. <laughs> I'm all blurry, oh there we go. Good morning iFarm, we're starting the morning right, right now, with a bit of Gordon Corral. Oh yeah, something Isabel particularly has been craving ever since we landed okay. in Florida. So she's a bit excited this morning, right babe? Yeah! It appears that everyone's pretty much got the same idea as us this morning. 
Boom. There's a big odd queue getting in today. Okay, so we had a bit of a fail at Golden Corral. It was just past breakfast time. So they were, they were not serving breakfast anymore. So we've just taken a quick trip down the road to Denny's. After we've just been to IHOP, IHOP was queuing out the door and it was like, no, no, no. So we just come to Denny's, which is just up the road from there. And it's looking the same. Even with the queues, it's only taken us 15 minutes to be seated, which is all good. We've ordered and it's on the way. So we're just in Denny's for breakfast and look how good this menu looks. Me and Chris have decided to go for the Grand Slam which is 9.59 just in case anyone was wondering. Esme is going for this one, she's going for an adult's meal, she says she's starving, which is like all sorts of pancakes. And then Isabel couldn't decide between the moons over my hammy, which is like a toasty type thing, or the All-American Grand Slam. Oh no, the All-American Slam, which is like a, a breakfast. And then little Lila, she is going with the Build Your Own Grand Slam, which looks delicious. And these are all 3 99 for children. So we just finished up with breakfast and now we are heading to... Our plans have changed slightly today. We did have a plan on what we were going to do, but the girls all said, please, can we just go back to the villa and spend the day there? and play in the pool. And obviously, when you come on holiday, it's not all about how much you can cram oh, into your trip. Oh yeah. Uh, it's about having fun and also relaxing. And if the girls want to go back and play in the pool and relax, that's what we're gonna do. So we're going to do that. But before we do, Isabel and Esme yeah. are actually filming something for Isabel's, ch I was going to say Isabel's challenge. <laughs> Isabel's channel. Over this way, girlies. I won't, feel, I won't tell you guys exactly what it is, but it's going to be so funny. And it includes the Dollar Tree. And I really want to look in the Dollar Tree too. So we're going to go in and have a little look. And then Isabel and Esme. You excited? Yeah. I'm super nervous actually. <laughs> are going to film their challenge. So these guys have just finished getting in all the bits and bobs they need for their challenge, or for the first half of their challenge. And if you run down here, Isla and Mum are currently filming a super cute challenge. A super cute Isla challenge. That's going to be on iPhone extras in a day or two and that is going to be so cute. So whilst Esme and Isabel were filming their challenge, little Isla Ingham said, can I film a challenge? I want to film one. So, Isla did the most adorable Dollar Tree challenge you will have ever seen. Obviously I helped her film it. Go! I'm going to edit it when we get back to the villa because literally it's so cute. She's such a natural on camera. It's adorable. I can't wait to get back to the villa and edit that and get it up online for you guys. I'm probably going to upload it today when you're watching this one. Probably not hour today because we've got a couple going up already for on Isabel's chan chal ch on Isabel's channel but by the time you're watching this one little Isla's challenge will be up so make sure you guys go and check that out on iFam extras I'll leave a link down below guys the trolleys here are literally like pushing <laughs> an actual bus they're ginormous but they're super cool for when you've got like toddlers and you can't, or more than one child, that you can't fit into a standard trolley that we have in the UK. Even 12 year olds fit. <laughs> Only one thing's gonna cut it in weather like this. A ton of Chick-fil-A milkshakes to take back with us to the pool. We never had milkshake from Chick-fil-A before. They even have cream, but as it was on the way back, we thought we'd call and get one. I haven't got milkshake actually, I've got sunrise. Which yeah, you got a sunrise. Fresh juice. And vanilla ice cream. Mm. Sounds really good, that does. So we've just got back to Villa and I've just tried this milkshake and oh my goodness, it is so good. If you are ever coming to Florida or America and you're going to Chick-fil-A, get the cookie, cookies and cream milkshake. It is amazing. Hi guys, welcome back to Isle Camp and today, um, what I made got from the shop on the challenge I have right here and I've made this I know it looks like it's playing on the castle like on those parts but 
I still like it. I really, really like it, and I think it's really, really neat. It's really hot in here, so I'm going to go get my swim costume and go in the pool with my sisters. Oh my goodness, it is so hot today. It is ridiculous. When we went to Target, we just picked up this water skateboard, surfboardy type thing. So we're going to have a bit of a competition in a minute to see who can skate along the surface of the water for the longest. I think that's what it's for anyway. Yes, Boo Boo? Oh, my goodness. Look at you. You're like a wind up toy. You jump in and you keep going. Oh my good, well done Isla, spec babe. Oh, That's Isla. so good, I'm very proud of you for doing that. Show me again, okay. show me again. No, I just got a spider in my hand and dragged it out of the pool. Oh, uh, let's start calling you granny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go on baby, you do it again. Woo! Good girl Isla. Well done. Isla, you must have put your jar in today. Well done baby girl. You're so good. It's time to get real with this. <gasps> Woo! All right, guys, it's time to get real. We're gonna play a game of surfing across the pool. But we did buy a surfboard at Target, although it is absolutely papa. I thought it said that it was a water skateboard, but it's actually an underwater skateboard, apparently. So that was a big fail on my part. I bought it thinking we'd be able to jump on it and surf across the surface of the water. But no, that doesn't happen. That sinks every time we try and do that. All right guys, this is why this thing is a big fail. <laughs> oh, it just sinks every time. There's no floating going on whatsoever. So instead, we're gonna surf the Frappuccino. All right guys, so basically you've got to jump onto the Frappuccino, standing up, and stay standing up for as long as you possibly can. And the winner is the one who can stay up the longest. So something like this. <laughs> that just made it seem happy. <laughs> All right guys, that is definitely how not to do it. Are you ready, Isabel? Yeah. All right, mum, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, Isabel, on three, two, one, go. Oh, she's down! That was a quick one. Oh. 1.5 seconds. 1.5 seconds, well done, babe. Well done, good effort, darling, good effort. Esme, you ready to take the stand? Yeah! Let's go, let's go. All right, Esme, are you ready? Yeah. On three, two, one, go! Oh, she's down! <laughs> oh! Isabel's in the lead. Yeah. Well done, babe, okay. But you're about to be taken down. Oh, for you, yeah, So I hope you're bet. ready for this. One, two, three! Oh. <laughs> That's one. Oh yeah. 2.9, I'll take that win. Thank you very much, guys. You did a good job. Put it there. Well done, well done. Till next time, maybe you'll beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're doing something special tonight, something that we've wanted to do since we got here, in fact something that we've wanted to do since the last time we were in Florida but we didn't get a chance to do it. Tonight, we are hitting up, pow, boom, Manny's Chop House, yeah, this place looks absolutely incredible, check it out, look at the theming on this place, more importantly guys, look at the sunset behind the Ronald sign, oh yeah, it is a very a very hot and very beautiful evening here in Orlando, Florida tonight. 
Look at these guys getting their Instagram on. This place looks absolutely amazing. chicken I've ever had as you can probably tell because it's all gone Sarah got badly defeated with those ribs there was way too many but it's all good yeah so it's all good because we've got Esme who has polished off both of her meals boom gone and now she's tucking into half a rack of ribs look at the size of the ribs <laughs> Esme oh. is a straight up carnivore it never fails to catch me out when you go from a cold indoor restaurant to come outside and the heat hits you like wham, <laughs> bam. That was some of the, <laughs> if I can talk. That was one of the nicest meals I've had today in Florida. That was gorgeous. If you guys are thinking about checking out Manny's Chop House, I definitely recommend that you do. I'm a massive fan of buffalo chicken and anywhere that does that good gets a thumbs up from me and that was some of the best buffalo chicken I've ever eaten. Anyway. We're rocking out now, it's, uh, let me check what time it actually is. Is it eight? It's eight o'clock. And we're rocking over to Old Town right now. We're gonna go check that out. We wanted to check Old Town out for a while, but we didn't manage to do it last time we were here, so we're gonna take a drive over there and see what that's all about. Whoa, <laughs> this place is incredible. Oh my goodness. It looks so cool everywhere. It's so buzzing, isn't it? Yeah, it's popping tonight. It is buzzing tonight. There is so many people here. They do like an old car show on, I think on a Wednesday and a Saturday. We might pop back tomorrow if we've got a chance tomorrow night to see it because I would love to see some old classic cars. There are some big old muscle cars pulling out of the here just two seconds ago up the road and they were banging. What's up, What's up man? You cool? <laughs> What's he doing, Isla? Tell him to do one. Okay, okay, I'm getting a bit excited right now. There is a lot of very, very nice cars around. Like, very nice cars. OMG. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm going to bump into Dom Toretto any minute now. Whoa! You want to go on the island? Oh Woohoo! Alright guys, so we're just kicking it around Old Town and we just bumped into some high fam! We just met Jess. Hi Emma! Woo! Thank you! <laughs> it was lovely meeting you Jess, Thank come here. You. See you around. Bye. Have a lovely time. Bye guys! Oh, I love meeting iFam. It's so, so lovely meeting you guys on a roundabout. I freaking love that. Thank you so much to Jess and your family for coming to say hi. Savage. 
Oh, it's going, it's going. So I've just this second put the girls to bed, Sarah's just having a shower and I've just come outside to take in some of my nightly cricket noises, are you ready for it? I'm going to miss that noise, I'm going to miss that noise. We leave this place on Sunday morning so we've got one more full day and one more night after this one before we do leave and have to say goodbye to this villa and move on to our next portion of this adventure which I am really excited about. But this has by far exceeded all my expectations and I have enjoyed it so much to the point where I'm just completely in love with this place and I don't want to leave it. So just before I crack down and start editing up this video, I am going to give out my question of the day today and today's a good one actually, here we go, are you ready for it? Today's question of the day was from Harper Taylor on YouTube and she asked, do you ever worry about how many surprises your children have and the impact of them? This is in no way hate, I just know that your children are very polite, but I am just wondering how you manage it. Um, in answer to your question, no. The amount of surprises that me and Sarah give the girls doesn't concern me whatsoever. It would start concerning me if the girls ever reached a point where they didn't react to surprises and they just expected surprises. Or, or if in general they expected to have surprises, say for instance on every holiday. So if it came to like the summer holidays and the girls expected to go on holiday or expected a big lavish surprise, then I would worry, but they don't at all. And they never do. And they are genuinely the most grateful and grounded girls I've ever known. So in answer to your question, Harper, no, it doesn't concern me one little bit. But thank you very much for your question. And tonight my notification shout out is going to go to another one from YouTube. Gymnastics Ole321. She's written tonight, hashtag notification squad. Love you so much. Thank you so much. I see your comments a lot. Thank you very much. If you guys would like to be in with a chance of being a notification shout out, you just need to be subscribed to our channel and just show some love on any of our social media. We pick from all the social media, so Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, every single day. So if you want to be in with a shout, subscribe, follow, and show us some love. That's it. So before I do close out today, I want to say big props to my gorgeous wife, Sarah, because she has been a trooper today. It is extremely hard. Picking up this camera every single day, especially when you're feeling self-conscious and you're feeling underconfident in yourself because, you know, she has a very bad cold sore on her face that is really bothering her today. And I know she's feeling super self-conscious about it, but she's been a trooper and she's picked up the camera and she's vlogged all day and she's been, she's not complained about it once. So big props to you, babe. When you're watching this back, I'm proud of you. And guys, show some love in the comments below because she definitely, definitely deserves it today. And on that note, I'm going to say goodnight. I will catch you all tomorrow. We have got a very, very epic day planned tomorrow to the point where your heads might actually explode. Like, <laughs> boom, done. It's going to be a good one. So don't be late. Make sure you're back here at 5 p.m. and we'll catch you then. Until then, guys, Good night. Good evening, iFam. How are you doing? If you enjoyed tonight's vlog, please just give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, click the notification bell so you'll never miss a video off the iFam. Ignore the haters and always be sassy. Good night. Mm -hmm.